Hey guys, welcome back to another Ask Plan Academy video. In this video, I want to talk about something called a project schedule delay log. Okay, what is a project schedule delay log? Have you ever seen one? Well, I'm going to tell you that actually I haven't even seen one, and that's why I wanted to talk about it. So in Plan Academy, we run this great course called Delay Detective, where we teach four forensic delay analysis techniques. And one of the questions that always comes up in that course is, how do I track my project delays? Now, I've been on a bunch of projects, and here's how we tracked them. They were in the meeting minutes. So if you wanted to find out information about the delays, you always have to sift through the meeting minutes. Also, some of that information was also on the schedule and in the notes. But what became obvious is that it was hard to have a single source of information for all of your scheduled delays. And that's why we need something called a project schedule delay log. What is it? It's a registry that lets you log, track, and report on all of the delays related to your project. So it seems simple, but most of us start projects without a scheduled delay log, and that can be trouble. So what can I do with a scheduled delay log? Well, I'm going to talk about a couple things. One, it becomes a single source of information, like I mentioned. And to me, it's almost like a one page. It's like a picture. If I want to go and figure out all of the delays that have happened on this project and the total duration related to them, they're there in my registry, in my log. We can track delay responsibility. Is it the owner, contractor, third party delay? You can also categorize your delays. Think about all the different types of delays that happen. Maybe it's a late submittal. Maybe it's a force majeure like COVID-19. Maybe it's compensable. Maybe it's non-compensable. Whatever it is, you get to categorize your delays any way you want. And you can do that in the registry. Not only that, we can track your total delay durations. So we can put start and finish dates, whether the, the delay is critical or not, and track it all in a single place. Not only that, think about potential delays. Ah, I'm expecting that this is probably going to be late. Not 100% sure yet, but we can even put potential delays in our registry. Okay, so let me show you what this looks like. I did a little bit of digging and here's a simple delay log I found on the internet. Here we go. It's an Excel spreadsheet. It's pretty simple. It's got project name information and some date information about the project up at the top. And then you can see this is sort of the registry area. Simple delay description, start, end dates, and even durations of the delay. Now this is a good starting point, but I think we need to have a little bit more than that. So here is what I put together. This is Plan Academy's freely downloadable project schedule delay log. Okay, so let me take you through it really quick. One, we have a status field. Is the delay still open? Is it closed? Has it been resolved? Any kind of status, customize that to your liking. Let's put a number uh, and a delay description on it, almost like activity ID and activity name. And then we can talk a little bit about the cause of the, of the delay. We can also log our start and finish dates. So when did the delay start? When did the delay end? We have it logged there. And this becomes a single source of truth. Is it critical? Is it, on the, is it affecting activities on the critical path? How about the responsibility? And then we can even categorize this however else we want. Like I mentioned, compensable, non-compensable, et cetera, third party, force majeure. A little bit of information we can log about the resolution of the delay. How did it get resolved? What happened? And then gen, just general notes area. So. Before you start your next construction project, grab this template and use it. Even if you're in the middle of your construction project, grab this template and start to use it. If you're a contractor, you are going to look so much more competent if you show up with a delay log register that your owner has never seen before. You're going to look like a pro. You're also going to feel like a pro because all this information is at your fingertips and you don't have to be digging into the meeting minutes and into the schedule or asking the scheduler how that got resolved. So download the template, keep it at your fingertips. And most importantly, maybe you've heard the mantra, what gets measured gets managed. 
Well, just having this thing in place is going to help you make sure that you minimize anything that you're doing to minimize delays. Use the link below to grab the template, download it, customize it to your heart's content, but most of all, finish on time, finish on budget. I'm Michael for Plan Academy. Thanks again.